Here's wow. another big name who occasionally watches Vanya and Company. <laughs> Put him on camera. You know who he is. Greg Norman is with us and he's in the studio. Greg, it's great to have you with us, sir. It's good to see you, Stuart. Say Bonnie, hi to Mr. I President. Love, I love Vanya and Co. I watch you every morning. So oh, okay. Actually, I'm in my office and you're on. Oh, yes. Wow. You don't have to flatter me. <laughs> no, 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 I do, but it helps. Just, every time I go for a meeting, I've got to put it on mute. I've always looked good. Like, is he smiling or has he got a miserable look on his face today? <laughs> you're an international businessman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yes, mean, you, you, you run business all over the world. What yeah. do people elsewhere think about President Trump? Honestly, what do Well, they I do a lot of projects in Mexico. Let's just stay, stay with the USMCA, right? Okay. Okay, uh, I do a lot of projects in Mexico. People now are saying America is great again. They're saying that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I've got a cap given to me by one of the developers I'm working with down there saying thank you. So we're seeing it. We're actually seeing pre-GFC days in my golf course design business. Yep, yep. And it is a true economic indicator about the stability that's been happening with deregulation of a lot of things. We're seeing it here in the United States, the uptick in our business, not only just in the soft goods, but in the consumer products, but in golf course design. So there's no question about it. Uh, what uh, the President Trump has done has had a dramatic effect of turning around where we have been 2008 to where we are here now in 2018. Jeez, we're not used to hearing that. No, it's, well, it's we, a fact. We, it's we, a fact. We, we read the foreign media and it's the elite saying well, what rotten people we are. Well, I, look, separate church and state. Separate the facts over what people want to perceive, right? And to me, what, I, what I'm seeing is never let your emotions overtake your intelligence. Right? right? And you're seeing emotion overtaking your intelligence. You're seeing that with the Brett Kavanaugh hearing, right? Mm -hmm. It's just it, the decency's gone, and everybody's saying that same thing around the world, no matter where I go. Go to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Vietnam is a hive of activity now. Vietnam wants to partner with America. Vietnam wants to partner with Australia. They want to be able to keep China at bay because they don't want China coming in and buying and financing and doing everything for Vietnam. They've been at war with Vietnam for 3,000 years. <laughs> yes, we had the Vietnamese war with Australia and America going at bay with them, but now they love free market capitalism. They want cash. 93 million people in Vietnam. 53% of them are 30 and younger. So open the doors to America. Open the doors to Australia. Here we come. We're going to come in and we're going to help you. But specifically inside America, you've got a golf development, golf course development business, and it's going well? It's, we're starting to see the momentum pick up every month. Really? More and more and more. Yeah. I'm actually very, very, you can tell it in my voice. Mm -hmm. I'm enthusiastic about it because everybody in my, in my companies and my different divisions are feeling it and saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. You've got a new idea, and you're putting some money into a new idea. What is, it's called, what is it? a virtual sports casting studio. Yes, right. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, are you going to allow viewers to pick the commentator on a sport? Is that how it works? Yeah, that's basically how it works. And how this all started was I got invited by the University of Miami many years ago, in 2017, to have Greg Norman's um, um, uh, next sports entrepreneur. So I went through this process, and we had maybe hundreds and hundreds of applications from around the world. And we boiled it down to five, and Spock was the, the ultimate winner, and we actually invested in it because it's virgin space, right? And you look at commentating today, and you listen to some of the weakness in the commentating, and there are some great commentators, but give the public an opportunity to choose who they want to have. And it's, it's actually been received extremely well. So I'm excited about it. We invested, we closed the deal off last week and we're <laughs> off and running. Why do uh, golf commentators so often have an English accent? <laughs> Uh, uh, well, Peter Ellis was the best. Oh, right? the Peter, best. Peter, Peter the best. was the best commentator. Um, Henry Cotton was pretty yes. good too. You know that, that pregnant pause yes. when somebody screwed up a shot and yes. there was dead silence for two or three seconds, and the viewer had to go, "Oh, did he really screw it up? How bad was that?" So they've always, I think, they've always been the best. Every time you're on the show, I ask you how many rounds of golf have you played in the last year, and you always surprise me because it's so few. <laughs> I haven't played one round since I was last time. Oh, my <laughs> God. So, no, I haven't Aww. played any. Now, so. look, you may be injured. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not injured. I'm 100% healthy. Well, you're one of the greatest golfers of all time, <laughs> and you don't play anymore. No, 
oh, I love, I love going to the Vietnam and working with the Vietnamese mm -hmm. government. I love going to Mexico and love, I love going and doing different things and actually injecting new opportunities for the game of golf and, wow. and, and create a new experience and growing things. So game of golf has been in the doldrums globally, but now it's not. And um, I want to thank you know, President Trump for pulling us all out of it. So you've abandoned the sport that made you famous. <laughs> you've got to it. Just pure money making. Yeah. No, I, well, it's a pure business. <laughs> it's a pure business. You'll make a great American, son. Let me tell you, <laughs> Greg Norman. That was a real pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for being with me. Oh, Always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir.